Yeah, shit! Who would have thought? Who would have thought that I would fulfill my 13 year old self goal of surpassing 100 views? That's actually insane, and I can only say that I'm really grateful for all the nice comments and new subscribers. Hello! <laughs> I realize I haven't yet made a proper me video, an introduction to myself or something like that, but nevertheless, do I hope that you'll enjoy the ride with me, as I will today be focusing on something that's personally connected with me. Art! So, on the last video, there was a comment which stood out to me. Stop provoking and raising the question of why even start drawing in the age of AI. Right off the bat, no offense, but I think if you're not an artist, you should sit this one out and let someone who's creatively interested handle this one. Um, in my opinion, just do, do it. it! Really, draw to your heart's content. Just Honestly, at it. the end of the day, it's your own drawing, it's your own art, which an AI art machine couldn't hope to mimic. Notice how I say it's your it. own art. Sure, the reason why you draw varies from person to person, but if I'm being real for a sec, I don't pick up the pen to impress others. In fact, art helps me express my emotions. It's kinda therapeutic, really. Especially when I need to vent them dark thoughts. Art is my way of breathing in these situations, and, you know, that's the organic part AI can't comprehend. The heart. Listen, if you want to draw or learn how to draw, it's gonna be up to you how to express yourself. But however you want to do it, be it painting, sculpting, modeling with clay or something else, no one can reproduce you. Proko, for example, said this as well. There's a story behind the artist which translates into their craft. It's in there. The story is your life, in this sense. And what I'm trying to say is, there won't be someone who lives exactly like you will have. Does that make sense? You know? So you're unique, that's what, I, that's what I'm trying to say. Each one of us is unique, okay? Okay, so do fuck it and have fun, for real. Fuck around and find your art. See, as you can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. And also, if you stay down here and you never fuck around, you'll never find out. Oh, well, 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 Excellus Rose. Yes, that's how I would like my name to be pronounced. It's not Excellus Rose, thank you very much. How exactly do you find your art? <sighs> I don't know. Jokes aside, that's a question you're gonna run into pretty fast. Uh, those of you who have begun their art journey will most likely have come across the frustration of not having an art style. And that's something you gotta bash out of your head immediately, cause your art style will develop on its own the more you draw. You won't find it just like that, okay? It's like, it, it needs time, alright? It needs time. Like, look at me. I'm almost five years into this shit and still consider myself art style less. <laughs> Apart from my pencil style of drawing, you'll see nothing but different takes on different styles. That's what I call the artist's language. If you want to draw anime from the get-go, you're most likely gonna screw up and try to adjust your understanding of the human body to something that's already stylized. And don't fucking do that please, alright? You're just gonna fuck yourself over. <laughs> the first thing you gotta start out with are the basics. I really don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> from here on out, improvement will go faster and better, cause you understand what shapes there are and how they work. Then, use that creative spirit of yours in combination with your knowledge of the basics. And you should be doing art in your own style, aka your own art language. That's how you get to the point of having your own art, in my opinion at least. I mean, look at you, you made this, you should be proud of yourself. And hey, if you're still unhappy about not having a consistent art style, you're not alone, trust me. Try using the same materials over and over again, that would be my tip. I gotta agree with Colleen when she said that your art style is mainly made up of your workflow and the materials you use. If you don't trust theory, look at the fact, the evidence. <laughs> These are my two Violet Evergarden pieces and they look wildly different, right? It's because I use different workflows and different brushes. Uh, on this one you have the classic sketch, line art, coloring, Details slash highlights and yeah, the background. I always do backgrounds last. I know you should do the background first, but whatever. Uh, on the painterly one, it's the following. Sketch, shading, lighting, while well, using textured brushes. I use textured brushes for everything in this painting, by the way. Um, highlights via different layer modes. It's just as I told you. 
different workflows will eventually end up into different paintings or drawings or whatever you want to call them. Quick side fact, uh, both of them were only three weeks apart from each other so you can definitely see that there was no artistic evolution which happened in between those two drawings. But okay, it's time to round up this video. If you're not scared of the AI machines out there, I suggest you pick up the pen right now and start learning the basics, the fundamentals, and then let your creative juices just flow and guide you through your endless creativity that's hopefully inside your little heart. And if you need help with the fundamentals, I suggest Ross Draws, Ethan Becker, Cynics Design, and Proco, they're really good. Okay, I hope you can take away the courage to maybe start your art journey regardless of the mindless madness out there and just have fun with it. Alrighty, I'm out of here. Fuck uni, I'ma go and play some Frontiers now. Have yourselves a damn good one and I'll see you in the next bit. Bye!